So I got asked last night, what's the weirdest field you've played on in your career? And it got me thinking, I've played in a lot of really strange fields, but I think the weirdest field that I've ever played on is actually one that I coached on, which was last year. So I'm gonna take you here on Google Map, or Google Earth, I guess, and we're gonna go check it out. And I want you to put in the description box below, what are the weirdest fields you've ever played on in your life? Because maybe I've played there and then I can do a video on it. So if you wanna go to the strangest field that I've ever played on, you gotta go to Braintree, Massachusetts. It's called French's Common. So we played Archbishop Williams at this school in high school this past year. And it has the most unique dimensions that I've ever played. And we're gonna zoom in here. I'm gonna talk about what it was like playing there, the strategy that we use, some of the really interesting little nooks and crannies of the, of the field. And we saw wacky stuff happen just in our one game there. But talking to their coach, Bill Berman, who's a great guy, he would explain all the crazy things that, that he's seen. So let's zoom in here. So let's zoom in. And you're gonna notice some really crazy things right off of the bat. And the best part about playing here is when you do ground rules, when you go before the game, you get the home plate and you know you kind of walk up there and everybody has already checked out the field. So you have an idea of what's coming. And Bill always says like, all right, fellas, get ready. It's gonna be a long one because you really have to sit there and talk for like, it's, it's the longest ground rules ever. It's like 15 minutes to cover the entire field. All right, so I'm gonna do my best here to get us a really good view. So a couple of things that stand out that are crazy about this field. If we get this ruler right here, let's, let's get this ruler here. So the first thing, I'm gonna click on home plate. We're gonna bring it down here to the right field line here because you've got town hall right there. It's 100 and what's that, 195, 196 feet away. So. If you hit a ball to right field, you've got to hit it on top of this roof to get a home run, but it's really just a pop-up. You're a high school player here. Get some big, strong dudes playing. So you really just got to hit a pop-up to right field for a home run. Now I want to go back down to this view again, and let's zoom in a little bit further because this is the interesting part. So you can see right here, right here, there's a little white line on the building. So that's the foul line. So if you hit this wall, you, this, this is all played as a wall right here. So if you hit this to the left of that, while well, it's in play. If the ball bounces, you just play it like a wall. If it goes to the right, it's a foul ball. If you hit it on top, it's a home run. But again, this foul pole, you have to just kind of pretend that it, it extends here. And you've got to judge, did it hit to the right or to the left? Because there's really nothing there. Also, I'll try to zoom in a little bit further here. Let's see if we can do this. Okay, so as we zoom in and look here, there's also like these stairs that go down here. So if the ball goes down the stairs, then you kill it. Um, there's more stairs over here. There's like these stairs here. If the ball somehow is fair and bounces up and then does bouncing all over these things, there's so many different ways that the ball can go. But you're really playing it pretty much live off of everything, except if it goes down again, these stairwells, um, home runs are, are up here. I'm pretty sure it was a home run. I'm, I think it was a home run if you hit any of these rooftops, I believe. So let's zoom back out again and I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back to this view right here and we're gonna go back to using this again. Let me see if I can get us back a little further. Okay, so the other interesting things, if we get the ruler again, so let's get the ruler out. Right, so if we click here, now here's the thing, there's no fencing out here. It's, it's just, it's really like all you can get. There's a playground, <laughs> there's actually a playground out here in like deep center field. So you have like kids playing. So if someone hits a bomb and the ball like rolls in there, like go in and like tackle the kid on the swing set to make sure that you can get the ball. Maybe he's like in your way. I mean, it's pretty far away. It's almost 400 feet, but you've got all of these trees. You can hit the ball again. You can kind of hit the ball in between these trees here. So you're looking at, you know, to get a, an actual home run, you've got to hit it over. There's like a fence that runs. It starts over here and it runs all the way along here and it just kind of keeps going. I mean, if you can hit one, like let's say 434, you can get a, 
an actual home run, but everywhere else, there's no fence. So like you smash a ball down here, like there's nothing here. You just got to keep running and try to score before they can go retrieve it in the town over and throw it in. And I'm going to try to move us over here real quick. I'm not sure how to do this. Let's, let's go over here. Yeah, let's go this way. Okay, so this is the view that I wanted right here. So the other really crazy part about this field is all the trees, uh, which I guess makes sense. It's in Braintree, but there's trees here. There's trees here. There's trees here. So these trees are all in play and they're not very far. Like this tree right here on the left, we actually had a play uh, late in the game. I'm going to get the distance here to this tree. So it's only 240 feet away or so. Right, so it's like a routine fly ball to left field. And what happened was we had we actually had a, a new left fielder in this game. We put a kid out there that was a really good athlete and good defender. Ball is hit to left field, runners on base, and the ball goes into the tree, deflects off of the tree, and we miss the ball in left field. But you just play it live. So you hit a ball, it bangs off the tree, goes over here. Again, it's like a wall, essentially. And so you have to play... You know, you're playing defense and you're sprinting over here. And again, in the field of play, there's a humongous tree. And again, you got one here and you got one here and you got one over here. So it's, it's probably one of the most difficult places to play as far as ground rules, as far as just obstacles in your way. The other thing that we did strategy-wise, because there's really no right field, your second baseman who's playing right there, right? So let's just say normal depth, they're playing right here. All right, let me get my ruler out again, my handy dandy ruler. So that's where he's gonna play, right? He only has to run, right, to this path right here. You're talking about 70 feet, right? So on a fly ball to right field, like the second baseman can literally go out and catch fly balls out here. So what we did is we played our our right fielder, like way over here, right? Because there's a lot of ground to cover. There's actually a ton of ground to cover out in this area. There's nothing to cover here. So we moved our right fielder over here. Our second baseman could literally take anything here. Any line drives hit to right field. Second baseman had to sprint out. Right field then had to sprint over. And you just have to be ready for the ball to bounce in any direction. First baseman can run out there too, like because this ball could bounce and it could go anywhere. But we literally had our second baseman trying to catch pop-ups to right. We took away this area with our right fielder, allowed our center fielder to cover more of this huge gap right here. And again, it's kind of like weird in left field. You've got this tree right here for the left fielder. So we had to figure this all out in the fly. I had heard about this field. I looked at it on Google Maps before I got there. Uh, but I didn't realize it until you get there, you don't really realize how crazy the dimensions are. Overall, it was a lot of fun playing there. I know our kids really enjoyed it. The field's been there for like over a hundred years. People have been playing on this field for, I think a good amount over a hundred years. Um, so let me know in the comment section below again, if you've played at this field and send me fields that are really crazy. We'll take a look at it online and maybe I've played there before and I can give you my experience. So that's all we have. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, give it a thumbs up, all that good stuff. And we'll talk to you later.